Hey, what's up my wonderful, wonderful human beings. Uh, welcome to yet another stream. Um, my name is The Winnest. Welcome to my channel, either uh, on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, hello everybody. I, ha I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I sure did. It was, it was actually nice weather here in the Netherlands, which... Um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of rare, obviously, but the, the good weather is coming, so I decided to take out the car. Um, I have, um, I have an, uh, a convertible car, a little two-seater. Um, so yeah, it was great. It was great to, uh, to just walk, ar walk around, to, to drive around in that. Weather was, uh, was awesome. So, uh, so yeah, I actually got burned a little bit because of it. What's up, Celestrian? Welcome in. I hope you are doing fine, my sir. Um, so yeah, just uh, overall, just a great weekend. It's um, I I really went out of hibernation like uh, maybe a few weeks ago. I really I, a lot of people have this, but I really, really. Uh, um, I really get out of hibernation, you know, during the winter months, I'm always a bit like uh, a little bit moody, a bit, you know, you know how it is, just, just need sunshine every now and then, you know. Uh, Celestian is amazing because he went to Breda and shop. What did you shop for, my man? What did you, uh, what did you get? Uh, if you uh, thought I wasn't uh, wasn't hipster enough, I have an iced coffee here. Iced coffee. Uh, this is a little uh, little obsession of mine that I got ever since I went to Tokyo. <laughs> I I always got the the, the iced coffee out of the. Um, out of the vending machines just first you know because it seemed fun to me and then second because i really enjoyed it and now i'm a bit obsessed by it i love it i got some shoes new shirts and of course paints when i first read it i i, I thought it said pants because you were talking about shoes and shirts So yeah, okay, that sounds great, uh, Celestrian. You get yourself some nice sneakers then. Uh, so yeah, what, what else has been going on? Um, the YouTube has been doing very well. Uh, it's, it's crazy how, how much subscribers we got over uh, the past uh, uh, two weeks, basically. We're almost at the 600 mark now. And I see that on Twitch we're in uh, on 139 followers, which is great. Thanks a lot for following and doing all that stuff. Um, yeah, been really, uh, really impressed with uh, with how everything is going, and um, it's it's still a lot of fun. You know, I, I have my new job and everything, so um, I thought it would be a bit too much, but. It's, it's actually, I enjoy streaming even more now I get back to my job, you know, it's a good, uh, it's a good hangout. What's up, Mass Geek? How's it going? Did you have, uh, did you have nice weather over there as well? I was just talking about uh, how the weather here was uh, really, really nice. Celestrian says, though never trust the weather here, second winter can hit hard. Well, I hope that the second winter we, we already passed that point now. I really hope so. Um, because of the weather though, I was not able to paint up, or I did not paint up uh, the Mandalorians, which is, it's, it's not a bad thing because we can still continue with uh, the Rebel Troopers that I have left. Uh, just a few, just a few. Uh, there's not much left now. Um, but there, there, uh, there some, something else happened over the weekend, uh, which is uh, kind of a bummer, actually. I was looking forward to getting the Blood Bowl gnomes, you know, the new Blood Bowl team, but I missed out. 
I totally missed out on that. It, it was annoying because I was on the Warhammer web store. Uh, the pre-order for the, the, the gnome team went up and I, um, I had everything in my cart. You know, in my shopping cart and I was thinking, okay, so maybe now is the time that I should also get like the the, the starter set, the, the, the Blood Bowl starter set and the sevens pitch. So you have Blood Bowl and you have Blood Bowl sevens and Blood Bowl sevens is basically a, a smaller version of the game. Um, it is a bit quicker. It only has seven players instead of 11. It has some other rules. Uh, and I've been playing it like in uh, in a tournament every now and then uh, in Leiden. So I thought, okay, you know, I, I one day I'm going to need all the tools and the rule book and all that kind of stuff. So I was in my shopping cart on the Warhammer website adding those things. I had the gnome team and I was adding those things, the starter set and the, the everything. <laughs> I checked out. So I checked out my products and then the gnomes were sold out. So I, I missed out on them by like maybe a minute or something. It was so super, super, super annoying. But um, yeah, I, I will probably get them at release. I'll, I'll go to the store if I have to. Um, but it was funny because I, now I'm super excited that the, the Blood Bowl starter set is coming in. Um, and yeah, I'm going to jump into uh, to Blood Bowl soon again. I th I, I kind of want it to be my um, to be my second game, you know. So I play Star Wars Legion a lot for for people that do not know. Um, Star Wars Legion is my main game at the moment, and I want to add another game to it. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be Blood Bowl. I, I I painted up one team. I enjoyed that and. I really enjoy the game. I love the game mechanics because it's so super random and everything, you know. Um, I like American football. I used to play American football when I was younger. American football and war gaming in a game. Uh, sure, sign me up. <laughs> also, Blood Bowl was the very, very first Warhammer product that I ever saw live. Um, I was on vacation in Spain. I was visiting family there. And then one of the, basically my nephews, one of the nephews, they, they had like, they were playing Blood Bowl. And I was like, what, what what's this? This is, this is amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's where the whole wargaming uh, thing basically started. So yeah, uh, if I have to, Celestian, if I have to, I will. Because I really do want to have the, the, the gnomes. I want to play the gnomes in Blood Bowl 7s. Uh, it's going to be hard though to play them because Blood Bowl 7s had it's a smaller pitch, it's you know fewer um, fewer players, so you have to be quite quick with your turns. Uh, so yeah, we will see. Uh, for now, let's just um, yeah, let's just get going on the last few Rebel Troopers. Let's see if my overhead is okay. I decided to change up the overhead a bit. Um, and there's a reason for this. Wait, let me take it a bit here. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason that I'm changing the overhead. This way, I, I started out this way, but this way I am going to be able to take the miniature a bit closer to my face. You know, it might be a little bit annoying because this thing is here, but I, I cannot imagine that people want to uh, just look at my face all the time. So I think this is uh, this is okay. Uh, if it's not okay, let me know. But uh, this this works for me painting wise a little bit better. So uh, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, are the rules simplified in Blood Bowl Sevens? Um, well. They're simplified because there's fewer models. I think there is some skills that they leave out, but I'm not sure. Um, and it's just it's just a bit shorter, really. The, the pitch is a bit smaller. Um, but the rules, the Blood Bowl rules are not that hard actually. And, and, and the great thing about Blood Bowl, what, what I think is that it has a video game, you know? It's, it's not the greatest video game. I think it has a lot of bugs. Uh, but 
ever since I, I played Blood Bowl for the first time, I got the video game and then I, I understood, you know, I understood most of the rules. Uh, the thing with Blood Bowl, the video game, obviously, is that the AI does all, does all the calculations and all the rolling and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's still it's still a fun game. Uh, I might wanna, I might play it one day on the stream. That that would be something. We were talking about maybe some gameplay streams uh, because I I miss gaming. Uh, and I I really do miss gaming. I played um, Dragon's Dogma, by the way. Uh, didn't like it too much, but uh, but yeah. But, but let's just see what we have here. What we have yet to work on. Um, these are some rebel troopers. And these are like almost done. This guy's almost done. Except for the base because I cannot uh, make a decision on the base yet, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and if you might notice that this guy this is not his original hat, so I put this hat on. Uh, so, what's left? Well, we have um, six. Am I missing? Yeah, I was thinking. I was missing one. So we have basically four normal rebel troopers uh, to uh, to paint up, and then do some detailing on the other ones. But I think I'm going to do like a, a kind of like a batch painting thing for these guys. So let's do one color. Um, at a time. Uh, let's see. And these are the ones that I didn't prime properly. So as you can see, there's a little bit of gray here and there. Um, it might bite me in the ass, but I, I, I didn't have, didn't really have a choice back then <laughs> because my, uh, my paint was up. Uh, where do you get the rebel hats from? I actually I asked around on a Facebook um, on a, f a Facebook group if someone could um, has STLs and could print uh, alien hats for me. I think though right now they are going to change up um, a bit and they're going to provide alternate hats in the new um, in the new products basically. I think, I hope. All right, so let's just get going. Uh, this is not the most practical spot for this. All right. So yeah, if this overhead view is okay for you guys, uh, or, or if it's not, just let me know. Let me just lower it a little bit if I can. And... <laughs> As you can see on, wait, as you can see on this camera, this is, this is really ghetto setup here. Um, this is my, my hobby lamp with a glass in it, with a magnifying glass in it. And my, my, my iPhone is right up there, just, just with the lens. So if I go like this, see, if I go to the corners, it will, <laughs> it will act, it will act funny. So I'm trying to position it uh, properly. Uh, if you guys do not like it, let me know. I will. I will soon get a new uh, a new camera. By the way, I'm I'm looking at cameras. Uh, I just don't know if I'm going fully professional, like I should do, because I still do freelance video editing jobs, uh, video shoot jobs, basically, uh, or if I should just go with a nice prosumer camera. Not sure about that yet, but uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, the plan is just to paint up most of their uh, their clothing first, I think. Um, and then some shading, then some highlighting. Just do some uh, some some uh, some good work today. I I I know I always say it, but I really want to. Uh, I. Ideally, I want to finish up this uh, <laughs> this squad today, at least with base coating, you know. So let's just first do all the base coats and see what happens. So 
So if you did not notice, by the way, there is a little poll on my YouTube channel about uh, or where I ask what kind of content do you want to see for an upcoming video? If you haven't checked it out, head over to my community tab on my YouTube channel and give it a vote because quite some people are actually voting. Um, and it seems to go towards talking about my new list. Mas Geek already done it. Nice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And uh, people over at the YouTube, welcome in. Um, let me know what you, uh, um, what you. Uh, let me know where you came from. I'm always excited to hear where the people from YouTube, if if my uh, channel got recommended or are, you're already a subscriber, maybe just let me know because it helps me. Um, yeah, it helps me. Uh, Maybe grow a little bit more, just to see where my audience is coming from. What am I doing, by the way? I'm not even... Ah. I, I totally forgot my paint handle. <laughs> but thanks, uh, thanks, Mas Geek, for, uh, for submitting them in the poll. I think uh, the Mandalorians... Like I said, I think uh, talking about the Mandalorians is uh, is the most popular one so far, with about 50 votes or something. So uh, yeah, we can do a video on that. I'm not going to have my Mandalorian list ready though. I'm, I'm mostly going to uh, talk about my plan and build a list and that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, last week I was not able to do a video which was to be expected. Like I said, like, like you probably know, I started my new job um, and that took some that took most of my uh, my energy and my effort for that week. Uh, but this week uh, we will have a video as normal. And uh, obviously if you haven't seen it, um, I did a bunch of videos on Star Wars Legion now. Uh, how to attend your first tournament. Um, but also if you should even play Star Wars Legion in 2024. Uh, the answer was yes, by the way. I think you should play Star Wars Legion because it's an awesome game. Uh, and I've kind of fallen out of love with... Um, with 40k for now, but it, it might come back, you know. Jace the face. There he is. The man. The legend, the face. <laughs> Are you streaming tonight, Jace? Or is your son on the uh, on the computer? Ah, it's just D and D night. So he 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 DMs um, over the internet then, or I I always wanted to do that. By the way, do it like do an online D and D session. Never did that before. I know it was very popular during COVID. Uh, Back in the COVID days. I never did it though.
D&D Beyond, yes. Yeah, I believe it's 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 called D&D Beyond. Uh, your model starts to look... Is it done, uh, Jace? The, the big uh, Tyranid? Is it a term? No, I'm not sure what it's called. And like I said in your stream last time, the, the color combination is really, really, really cool. Uh, it's a big uh, it's a big model as well of course yeah no, I, I just saw a picture um, saw a picture online what's the model called again uh, Jace uh, go check out Jace he, he's streaming a lot Usually when I come online to check out, um, to check who's online, uh, I see I see Jace or either Jace or D6 or Banka. Scream Akela. Yeah, probably. I think so. I was uh, I was really all oh, I almost bought like wanted to get into Tyranids uh, for 40k, but that's always with new boxes, you know the the, the, the new stuff. It's always uh, <laughs> it's always appealing. Uh, still have two unpainted corn effects laying around should give them some love eventually I love the models I really love the models uh, I was happy to have them in the Leviathan box didn't want want them but they do look cool and you can do whatever you want with them so that's what I'm doing yeah yeah I I I was not under the impression that I was actually going to collect an army to play because I think you're going to need a lot. Although with all the elite models, obviously you can uh, can get that pretty fast. All right, pants number one done. This girl's just rolling, re wearing an overall. So let's go to yet another bearded dude. They're they're basically the same heads. Yeah, it's a bit of a horde army, right? I can imagine, uh, Jace. I can imagine. I had the same with my Leagues of Votan army. 
Am I at my karma? I, I have it all the time with, with armies, you know. I, I'm actually... Um, I'm, I'm at a point that I, I soon I'm going to have to do something else than paint Star Wars Legion as well. But especially with Marines, you're doing really only like the same color. Like at least with the Rebels, you're... Um, with the Rebels, there's there's so much colors and there are a bunch of ragtags, you know. So you, you can do lots of different color combinations with them. Um, but still, I want to do... I'm soon going to be painting up the, the Blood Bowl thing. I'm actually really excited to get back into Blood Bowl. Um, I never really pushed through to properly, like, really learn the rules. So I, um, I hope I can, uh, I can force myself to do that while, because I bought the, uh, the starter set now. Uh, there's two teams in the starter set. I think it's a, it's a human team. Reikland Reavers, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, and the Black Orcs. Uh, which is cool because I I enjoy painting orcs a lot. Uh, uh, I talked about it a bunch of times before. But I got like a paint set from the army painter. Uh, that There's a bunch more. There's more than these. But... Uh, they contained it contained like these these colors so i actually cannot wait to start painting the black orcs uh, team and then i already talked to uh, i talked to rick and to another friend of mine in my little wargaming group uh, just uh, made them a bit excited i said like i i got the box now let's learn it together and um, yeah, let's let, let's do it. Like uh, the same thing happened with Star's Legion, you know, like a year ago. I played a couple of games, then kind of lost interest, and now I'm I'm now I'm at a point that I really I know the rules now, and you know, sometimes you just have to go uh, go all in for it, and. And then you know the rules, you know. And that's a good, a good point to be. And I want to do the same with uh, with Blood Bowl. Although Blood Bowl, it is a bit, it's a bit easier. I think. From what I played, I, it was really easy to just pick it up and play. So yeah, super excited. Another project that I want to do soon is. Um, I want to do a Blood Bowl Stadium. And I will show some of the SCL files that I found because they're really, really, really cool. Um, or you can look them up maybe. Um, I will look them up later. But it's it's basically uh, the crowd, you know, like the stands and the crowd of a Blood Bowl Stadium with like drunken, dr drunken uh, minotaurs and... There's like a, a halfling, <laughs> halfling sh flashing, flashing her boobies and stuff. It's, it's very, very, very funny. Um, and I want to build like a proper Blood Bowl stadium for sevens though. So a, a bit of a smaller stadium. But um, yeah, because, you know, Rick is such an amazing guy with the terrain for Star Wars Legion. I really, I'm really not getting into that whole aspect of the hobby, you know, like having big tables and all kinds of terrain and that kind of stuff. But building a Blood Bowl stadium, that, that's something that, uh, yeah, I can get into that. I can get into that, definitely. So yeah, that's also coming up soon. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably worth a video. Um, but I don't know how good it will be. Because I'm really not that experienced with terrain or dioramas or that kind of stuff. Uh, but maybe that's that's the charm. I don't know. Uh, um, 
Sorry, Celestia, I totally uh, missed your uh, message. Wanted to play Nids, then found out the build. Uh, the build I want needs four troops of 15 uh, Termagons, yeah. And I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can imagine. Painted my Hive Tyrant and Trigon and then left it, yeah. I think that's the that's the problem that Tyranids had, especially in the beginning. Like now, there's lots of there, there's lots of elite units. I think there's a few new ones at least. But in, I think in ninth or in eighth edition, there was there was just really it, it's always going to be horde. You know, I think now you can be a bit more elite, but still you're going to need hordes of uh, you know regular guys. So after this, for Star Wars, uh, with Star Wars Legion, it's going to be uh, there's going to be lots of other models because I got the Commandos, I got the Pathfinders, and I got two sets of Mandalorian um, um, Clan Rex Mandalorian Resistance. <laughs> so I have lots to paint up. I have no intention to play, so it don't really matter to me. Just something to experiment on painting, painting wise. Yeah. Um, that's always a good reason to, to get something like that. Uh, that's one of the reasons that one day I want to paint up an Imperial Knight. You know, just to... It's not the only reason. It's not the only... It's not only because of the painting, the Imperial Knight. Because I... When I play 40k, I mainly... I play Admac. And obviously the Imperial Knight can... I think it still can... It can still go with AdMac, like as a freelance knight or something. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. I mean, Skitari, lots of Skitari, and then an Imperial Knight. Uh, yeah, sounds like a dream to me. I think it's also a good idea to just sometimes uh, kind of switch it up. Uh, and I have been painting lots of Star Wars Legion, but this 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 model or, or this troop, this this unit, I should say, this is really the last the the last unit that I have that I have primed up since I got the core box. So this has been on the shelves for a long, 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 long time. Um, and since I'm displaying them now, you know, in my uh, uh, in my closet, or I should rather say, display. Uh, what do you call it? Nah, I'm not sure. It's on display, basically. So I wanna I wanna finish them. Okay, so these pants are done. These pants are done. Mm, let's get this guy going he's the heavy guy 
Z6. I also swapped his head. This guy is really, really badly primed. Um, you can see that I really ran out of <laughs> primer here. I hope it's going to be okay, but uh, just let's just see how it goes. I, you know, it's so annoying when you're out of primer. I, it was also in a weekend, so I could not get any new primer or whatever. But this is not going to happen to me again, that I'm going to run out of primer. It's, it's the most annoying thing ever. Righty. Ah, it's actually not that bad with the... Considering the, the bad job of priming I did. It's working out just fine. Cool, cool, cool. Um, by the way, uh, Jace, I don't know if you're listening, but I found the Marvel Crisis Protocol um, Gambit. So I will also get that too. It comes with what's? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it comes with. Um, Buy all the models. Now it comes with um, uh, Gambit and Rogue. But this is not short term though. But if I if I want to have a a little change up, then I will uh, I'll get those one day. 
<laughs> gets all the muddles. Yeah, no, I, I already, uh, I'm already past my, uh, my monthly budget for wargaming uh, for this one. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if, if, if you know, but I uh, I told this sometimes on the stream. I uh, I have I have a budget for wargaming. Yeah, true, true. Maybe a bust would even be cool. If they, I always I always want to try out a bust, you know. Gambit might be very, very hard though, but um, yeah, I could try. Cool, yeah, maybe just a little bit bigger skill because that's the thing that I uh, that I like the Marvel uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol for. It's that it's just a bit bigger. Trident Studios. Okay. Ah, yeah, they uh, they actually do have that. And pretty cool. Pretty cool. Different stances. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Trident models are better than the models from uh, Crash Protocol. Okay, all right. Uh, I did not he hear about them yet, but um, cool. I will definitely check them out. It might, um, it might soon be time to get myself into 3D printing. There's too many stuff that I wanna wanna print, and also with Star Wars Legion, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> what's up everybody what's going on everybody retired thank you so much uh welcome back by the way dude to um it's been a while man <laughs> now i'm here twice <laughs> thanks so much uh retired if you do not follow him already please check out retired uh very 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 cool painter uh always has enjoyable streams and um and he's back he's he's been away for uh for a bit but um he's back well good it's the right thing yeah yeah it's uh i mean you always enjoy the uh, streaming right It must be nice to uh, to be back after uh, after such a long time. Well, good man. Good that you're uh, that you're back. I I was just setting up when uh, when I saw that you were online, but um, I'll definitely come check you out next time. Hey, what's up, Omni? What's going on, everybody? 
Uh, good evening. How how's every how was the weekend? Was is everything settled then? Uh, retired? Did you are you uh, are you happy to be back? Hey, Dizin, thank you for following. Uh, thanks so much. Oh god, so random model. <laughs> You're gonna... Uh, give me a second, give me a second, because I, I have all my stuff in my shed, but I took out some... Sh or, or I can just <laughs> I can just show off my, my owl bear because it's right next to me. It's not really random though, because it's this is one of my favorite ones that I did so far. I think, uh, yeah, this this guy, <laughs> not completely random, but but hey, but hey, I think this is yeah. I I just have to I have to redo the uh, the base. Yeah, I I showed this off way too many times, way too many times. Just give me a sec. She's a pretty one. Uh, so yeah. I have another random. This is this is more random because I picked them up today to uh, to maybe do a video about. Uh, of course, in light of the passing of the legendary Akira Toriyama uh, a while back, um, I have some very cool <laughs> El Dari that I painted up maybe two years ago. I think uh, it's these. And they're not done yet, obviously, but um, <laughs> but yeah, this guy still needs basing and everything. Uh, let's see, and we got these. So yeah, I love these. Um, I just did contrast paints on those, though. So there's some work to be done on them. I usually, I, I, I usually do like uh, contrast paints first, and then do some, some additional layering. Uh, but they look quite, uh, quite fun as a little. I thought these were going to be like a kill team for me, basically. So I have quite a bunch of them. Uh, and I got them when they released like the new Guardians, like these are the new models from I think like two years ago or something. So yeah. Yeah, that the idea behind it was to, to you know, get an entire army of them. But I think it just lends itself very well for the Saiyan. For the Saiyan um, uh, color scheme, but it, they're they're still a little bit rough. <laughs> this is this is really like drops of contrast paint, and the blue is contrast paint. Uh, but it works. So yeah, back to the task. How's how's everybody doing, um, guys? Did we have a nice weekend? Just talking about it, over here in the Netherlands, it was... Uh, the weather was amazing. Axilis Avis, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Um, maybe, maybe it's a good time to, uh, to also do a little introduction. So my name is The Winnest. I do content on both Twitch and YouTube. Um, I'd say that YouTube is my main 
my main focus, but that's because I, I, I enjoy uh, making videos a lot. Uh, but it kind of sneaked in that um, that streaming is very, very nice to do. I, I love streaming. I love painting on the stream. And I love talking to you guys. Um, but if you want to, give me, uh, give me a sub on YouTube or just check out the videos and then decide if you want to give me a sub. That's, that's maybe a more... Uh, <laughs> It's maybe a better approach. Um, there's some Star Wars Legion content on there, but also some Warhammer content. And um, yeah, I, I started about three months ago with streaming and making, uh, making videos. And I've been enjoying it a lot. And this is too watery. So let's get some more paint on there so thanks uh, guys for following we we just crossed the 140 followers so thanks a lot that's really awesome uh, today we are painting up um, my last that's not even true I've been saying this all the time we, we are painting up Rebel Troopers for Star Wars Legion. This is the third unit that I'm uh, painting up. And these have been primed for quite a long time, but I never continued with them. Uh, so I thought it was time to, uh, to finally finish them up. Uh, let's show some models that are almost finished. We got this one. And where am I, <laughs> zombie case? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jeff rated, so <laughs> welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. You are now in the in the hands of a Dutchman, uh, zombie case. Zot, what's going on? Hello. How was your weekend, Zot? nice nice did i miss it on the discord or did you not post them yet troubles with basing but basing is the is the fun part what troubles do you have I did kind of pose them, but it was more about the troubles than about the minis. Okay, uh, I'll take a look at them uh, as soon. Just give me uh, give me a few minutes. Can I show them off, or uh, are you very uncomfortable with that? I can check them off stream as well. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so pants, done. Almost done. And then we did all the pants. We're, we're, we're making some, uh, some, some great progress here. Uh, we're an hour in. We already did four pants, guys. Four pants. Maybe wait a couple days. Ah, sure, sure thing. Uh, did you post them in the work in progress, uh, Zot? Because I can check them out. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have too many Discord channels, man. Seriously. Zot. Ooh, I see. Ah, oh, nice color combination. Um... Nice color combination, Zat. Very, very, very cool. Looks very, very cool. What's wrong with the basing? What do you mean? Sorry, there's lots of text, so I didn't... Uh, I can't really uh, check everything. Excel is Evis, thank you so much uh, for the follow again. And hi, how are you? And uh, welcome in. I don't know if you missed my uh, my intro, but if you have any questions, feel free to uh, to ask me or the chat or um, or yeah. Where are you? Uh, where are you coming from? You came from the um, retired stream, probably. But are you a miniature painter? Do you stream? What's your story? Um, okay, so the flock is bleeding color when sealing. Ah, okay, okay. That is very annoying. I had that once. Uh, what, what are you? Uh, what products are you using? Uh, that Excelis. Uh, you want to try? Okay. So, um, how how was your interest peaked? So, how did you? When did you decide that you want to try? Basically. <laughs> And remember, do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. colors and I like paint things like wall and chairs but I want to try a new thing uh, yeah well miniature painting uh, is definitely something you can try do you know where to start yet or do you need some pointers or it's actually really get, uh, easy to get started if you if you're just in it for the painting especially Yeah, listen to uh, listen to Yoda. You know what? Uh, by the way, uh, talking about Yoda, um, when I was younger, that the the first time I came in contact with Star Wars, um, I was about like seven or eight years old, I think, and I saw the original trilogy because my niece she had them on vhs uh, i think so it was just before the prequels when i saw them 
And uh, she always said, like, always, you know, take take Yoda, take Yoda's advice. Just everything that he says, take it. He's a very wise little man. So think about that. So me as a kid, I always had mad respect for Yoda. <laughs> and I, um, I used to quote him and, and that kind of stuff. And actually, it's not a bad idea just to be a... You know, just to listen to Yoda and be a decent human being. Because you, you can't really be a decent human being if only listening to Yoda, I think. I mean, he's he's a good little feller. Um, yeah, Excelis, where are you located? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice... Uh, in my chair. <laughs> in my chair. Where do you live? In your chair as well? I'd love to live in my chair. No, I'm asking because um, I'm asking because what Celestrian says about Mini Marvels, uh, it's a web shop that um, sells some miniatures and they sell paints and everything. Uh, and you actually most of the times, I think, I think most of the times, I'm not sure if it's every time, uh, but you get a free mini with whatever you buy. So. You could just buy paints and some some tools or some brushes, and you get a free mini, anyways. I come from Europe. Okay, well then, um, yeah, it it might be for you actually, um, Excelis. If you if you ever wanna order some uh, paints and everything, and get a free mini, uh, you can order from. Uh, mini-marvels.nl uh, and if you're interested in that I can also give you a discount code I think there's a bunch of discount codes now though so yeah So, Excelis, just to talk you through the process right now. What we're doing now is we're making a little base coat, with it, which is just the color that uh, we the, the the main color. Um, this is not the final color because we're going to do some shading, which is a different kind of paint that goes into the, the little nooks and crannies everywhere to give it a bit more depth. And then after that, you can do a highlight with a bit of a lighter color. Uh, and shading, some shading products like, uh, let's see what we got. My favorite shading color and everybody's favorite shading color. Uh, it's for example this one. This is a brownish shade. So you can imagine that with a yellow overall like this, a brown shade will look very cool. After that, we can do, for example, you can see this white paint right here. And you can see this uh, desert tan kind of paint here. We can mix it up to make it the base color a bit lighter to make it a highlight. And that's really just the basics. That's really the, 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 the most basic thing that I can say about painting. If you, if you 
handle those three things, I think you're good. Like base, shade, highlight. If you want to have all of those in a in one go, basically, you could also use contrast paints. And contrast paints are designed so they flow into the recesses of your model, uh, making it like you already shaded. So like you do a base coat and a shade. The thing is with contrast paints though, um, is that you uh, want to have a light prime color. So this is very light. This, this would be perfect for a uh, contrast paint. And I might do a contrast paint. In fact, I think I'm going to do a contrast paint soon with these guys. I'm really tempted to varnish my B1 Snarfs in gloss varnish. Um, yeah, I think that would work, right? I think that would work very well, actually. Is anyone already annoyed by my Legend of Zelda lo-fi uh, uh, music, by the way? Or is everybody still okay with it? <laughs> because it, it, it it's kind of just like the soundtrack for my stream now, you know? Uh, and I, I really don't want to... I, I don't really want to lose uh, this, this playlist. Although this is not the best song on there, but you know. I'm vabbing. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, this was only a question to people that um, that are here <laughs> for a long time because I always play this uh, play this stuff. Um, Sat could do with a little bit more variety. Okay, cool, cool. Um, can't do anything about it right now, though, Zat, because uh, this is this is the music that I'm cleared for. Um, I can just use this music. Uh, anyone can use this music, by the way. Uh, and I'm very, very, very strict on that for myself that I do not have any copyrighted stuff whatsoever in my uh, in my streams. But this music has literally been uh, on the playlist since day one, since uh, the, what was it, the 21st of December is when I started streaming. <clears throat> and then I did the Pokemon TCG online. <laughs> so yeah, here we are now. Okay, so what's next? Let's see what is next. Hey, go for it painting on the YouTube. What's going on? How, uh, how have you been? How are you doing? If I want other sounds, I repaint things. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's that's a gift. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. So 
So yeah, we're going for the um, for the off white again. Chromesthesia, yes, that's what's called uh, Celestrian. But how have you been uh, go for it painting? I always see you say hello. So thanks for being here again. <laughs> dun, dun. Okay, so we're going to do the sleeves and his shirt with the, this ivory color again basically which we're also going to shade down with a little color uh, probably with agrax earth shade again and then we're going to highlight it back again and that's how we're going to approach this guy Uh, what I really like about Star Wars fashion, wow, do I dare to go there? Yes, I just did. Um, is that they have like these, the, the, normally the Rebels, they have like these white sleeves, you know, like these, these, these sleeves under their vests. And I think it's, uh, it's really cool. Every one of my units, by the way, has a color theme so this is basically the red team I have a blue team I have a yellow team and on the battlefield because yes I do play with these as well uh, it's nice to be able to distinguish them so that's why I do the different um, different color themes basically Because you can have a lot of those uh, rebel troopers, a lot of units on the battlefield. So yeah. You guys, uh, and mostly maybe the people that have been uh, in the stream for a couple of months now. I want you guys to do a prediction. And I mainly, I, I, I mean Mass Geek, maybe Zot, maybe Celestrian. Um, oh, Harley, hey, what's up? Sorry, you had the same, uh, your name had the same color as uh, Alexis. Uh, so hey, what's up? Uh, what's up, uh, Harley? So yeah, Celestrian, Zot, and everybody else, do a prediction. When do you think I'm going to uh, I'm going to get to the 1,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube? And since you guys are okay, let's 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 do something cool, okay? I will give you guys a prize for this. I already have something in mind and it's cool. So the one who's closest, I mean, everybody can, preferably you live in Europe so I can ship it. Let's, let's make a thing out of this. Let's make, let's make a thing out of this. So, I'm going to give away a prize. So we're 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 a giveaway now. We're a giveaway territory. <laughs> Predict when I'm going to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
the one that's closest gets a nice price. Um, spoiler, it's 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 something you can paint. It's a model. And I will send it to you, shipping free. And preferably, you live in Europe. If you don't, we can figure figure something out maybe. Uh, it was again 500 last week. Yes, I am. But you have to know, I'm at 580 right now, I think. So this this week was very very uh, was very good actually. So one thousand subs, five eighty two. Okay, so I'm at five eighty two. Um, I started. Me <laughs> Kyle Redden, <laughs> Kyle Redden on. Uh, YouTube says May the 4th. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, uh, we are getting raided. Oh, we're getting raided by uh, the iPad Kit. Awesome. I I was just in the iPad Kit's uh, uh, stream before I went streaming. Thank you so much. Ooh, this means more people can join in on the giveaway, guys. <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome, guys. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me give give me give me a second. We were just thinking about a giveaway that we're doing, and it's it's a quite a, a stupid one maybe. But uh, yeah, first first um, thank you, the iPad Kid resurrected. The iPad Kid resurrected. If you do not follow her, please give please give her a follow. Um, very very awesome because she's also dutch you guys and i know there's a lot of dutch people in here so you know you know what to do uh she recently started streaming and she's from groningen actually um and we all know mini marvels is also from groningen Yeah, so um, so cool. Thank you so much for the raid, um, um, iPad Kid Resurrected. Can I know your real name, or can people know your real name? It might be a bit easier. But Kyle Redden, I like your thinking on YouTube. I like the way you think. That would be awesome. But I think it's too soon. I think it's too soon. Her name is beautiful. <laughs> It sure is. What's up, Rainbow? What's up, Rainbow? Mar. I respond to a lot of things. <laughs> cool. All right. Hey, uh, what's up, by the way, Rainbow? Nice of you to be here. Nice of you to be here. We are painting uh, Star Wars Legion. Surprise, surprise. Um, we're painting up the last or one of the last squads that I have or one of the last units that I have. This is the red themed unit. Um, and it's it's the, 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 the last ones that I, that I have primed. So this is exciting stuff. We can finish these. Uh, so yeah, let's just quickly get back to things. Uh, Chris, uh, by the way, hello. Chris, I have something exciting to tell you. Because I finally, finally uh, got myself the uh, Blood Bowl starter set. I already have a team, but I don't have like the tools and the pitch and everything. But like I went um, 
down the down the rabbit hole with Star Wars Legion, I'm doing the same with uh, Blood Bowl. Uh, maybe not maybe not as much as I did with Star Wars Legion because that would be ridiculous. But um, I played. Just a little backstory. I played um, some Star War, uh, some Blood Bowl sevens in the past, and I really enjoyed it. And there's a little league very, very close to me in Leiden. Um, they're an awesome bunch of people, and they have all kinds of tournaments, and they play every week or so. Very, very cool. But I don't have like the the templates. I don't have the rule book. I don't have this. Don't have that. Uh, so this weekend I decided let's just go for it. So I got the starter set which contains like two teams as I'm sure you know. Uh, the black orcs and the humans. I think the Reikland Reavers or the... I don't know. A human team. Oh, Jace, I missed out on the gnomes. That was actually the reason why I was on the... Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to tell the story one more time. I already did one time but... So I was there on the, the, the Warhammer website ordering my, my pre-order for the gnomes, for the Blood Bowl team, for the gnomes. Um, they were in my shopping cart and I was like, okay, now I, I kind of have to get like all the stuff, you know, the dice, the rule book, everything. So basically a starter set. So I added the starter set to my thing. Uh, I think I added like the Blood Bowl 7 pitch to, to my shopping cart as well. Um... And I wanted to check out, and it says, yeah, some items are not available. So the gnomes were not available anymore. It was really, really annoying. I, I was super, super annoyed, but I'm going to the store like when they release. Uh, I'll probably be fine. I hope so, at least. Uh, because I really like those. Uh, I really like those. But there's, uh, I have lots of painting projects anyway, so... Um so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so where the iPad uh, or where D4 uh, lives, it's uh, actually the, the most northern part of the, the Netherlands, basically. Uh, and I live in um, like more the the Schiphol area, so the Amsterdam airport area. Uh, yeah, everyone in the Netherlands lives near each other, kinda. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, Groningen is 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 far, man. Like really. On uh, the border of Drenthe. Okay, okay. Dezin, hello, Dezin, Dezin, <laughs> hello, How, how's it going? Uh, love to you too, Harley, love to you too. Um, thanks everybody for dropping in and um, uh, let's just give a little uh, little intro like we did on the last raid. Uh, my name is The Winners, I do content on both Twitch and YouTube. Um, YouTube is, uh, I guess, my main uh, but not for streaming, Twitch, all the love to Twitch. <laughs> uh, but I do lots of content on YouTube, so I produce videos pretty much um, uh, every week or every other week. Um, if you want to check it out, there's like an automated message coming around in chat. Or you can just check out my username on YouTube. Uh, do lots of hobby videos, that kind of stuff. Um, and I try to do my best. Uh, I am a... A videographer slash content creator slash uh, whatever for my job so i try to yeah keep the same level of quality also in my uh, in my other uh, in my in my uh, basically in my youtube work so yeah that's me um please yeah let me know what where you came from and i think you all came from the obviously from the raids so uh, so yeah just welcome in and um yeah be sure to uh to check out the youtube and everything i do streams by uh two times a week basically so i do monday streams and i do uh wednesday streams 
Uh, guess who misplaced her 150 calculator while setting up for stream? Misplaced your 150 euro calculator? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for that. <laughs> thank you. Oh, rainbow. Where where can I find it? Because I will show it off. In the Discord? Charlie's Discord? Or maybe send it to me? DMs. Alright, alright, alright. The rainbow. Oh man. Get, it, get, it gets me hungry, Rainbow. It looks like candy. Um, uh, give me a second, guys. So Rainbow did some very, very cool work on... on the mini Marvels mini that she got. That looks really, really cool, uh, Rainbow. It's very, it's very you. It's very you. <laughs> Rainbow done did it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. That's so cool. How did you even do that with the colors? Is it is it just just? It almost looks like uh, like like you wet blended it or something, but not like with uh, like wet blending with hard tra transitions, I guess. I'm the Zine, also known as Reese from the United Kingdom. I'm 26 years old, beginner in the Warhammer 40k universe. Pleasure to meet you all. Well, pleasure to meet you too. Um, uh, th yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, I don't do a lot of Warhammer 40k or have not been doing a lot of Warhammer 40k lately, but I, but I do. Um, I have the Leagues of Photon and some AdMac. Uh, so yeah, what, what's your army of choice very cool rainbow it's uh, you you have a style rainbow that's that's always very very cool to see ah look at this one so awesome very cool Yeah, very cool stuff. If you um, if if you want to check out Rainbow, um, please do. Let me let me let me give me give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Yeah, definitely check out Rainbow. Rainbow has very very cool um, cool streams. I always enjoy his streams a lot. Um, I have not been there for a while now, though, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, but it's always always a fun hangout, and uh, she's a doll. And also... Also... Um... This is another thing that Rainbow did that she sent me a while back. This is also really, really cool. And there's more. There's this Rainbow does like all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Basically, every stream that I went was was different, um, and I love that. There's big variety in there. Uh, if anyone wants to know the face behind the streamer that rated, I'm Mar, commonly known as D4, due to 
A story. Okay, okay. I'm a Clancy Chaotic semi new painter and streamer uh, who just kind of does whatever makes my soul happy. Just uh, a go lucky student with no money and a lot of bad jokes. Well, great. It sounds uh, like uh, we can hang. And we, 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 we might hang someday. Uh, we, we already talked about it a little bit, but whenever I'm going to go to Groningen, which is definitely going to happen, um, yeah, we will, we will hang out um, if you're up for it, uh, D4. So we have a D6 and a D4 now, that's cool. That's cool. Um, but guys, we were we were talking about something before you raid it. Um, we, um, I was kind of thinking out loud about when I was when I'm going to reach the 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and then I thought maybe it's cool to make a little competition, a little giveaway for it. So, whoever predicts, <laughs> um the date closest to to um to go getting the 1000 subscribers on youtube wins a prize so i don't know how i'm going to write should i just write it down what everybody what everybody um is guessing are you guys even up for it uh let me know uh chris Chris, actually, I was talking. Um, I was talking to my girlfriend about this, and we 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 might yes, we might uh, we might be there, or I might be there. I might, I might come alone. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, the chances are getting significantly bigger and 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 bigger. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe. It's still a maybe. <laughs> Ooh, a pack of six stickers to the giveaway if you like. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to um, uh, get something from me as well. When was, oh, sorry, when was it again? The, it was the 20th of June or something, right? Wasn't it? I already made my prophecy. Sorry, Celestrian. What did you? What did you? Um, what did you guess? I'm going to make a little list about this. Okay, so let's do this. I'm writing it down now. Um, okay, so yeah, let's let's get going. Yeah, you have a question. Okay, you all of you can ask questions. But obviously, like you cannot wait till we get at 999, right? That's that's not going to... Maybe I'm going to hide... Can I hide my subs somewhere or something? I mean, Kyle Redden. Kyle Redden? I'm going to write it down on YouTube. Says May the 4th. Sure. <laughs> Do you have any banger videos in the pipeline at the moment? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you you never know what's going to be a good video. To be honest, I you know I didn't think the the, the should you play Star Wars Legion video would get like. Uh, 12 or 11k views or something so uh, so I don't know but there are some videos in the works definitely but it might be a little bit slower because I do it like I do a video once every two weeks now instead of every single week um, so yeah but okay I I'm writing it down 
But there's there's a few a few things uh, coming. There's a few things coming. Um, May the twentieth. Okay. Very particular uh, time there, uh, Celestrian. This is based on what, Celestrian? I'm. Do you have some sort of? I guess in 2024, yeah, that's, that's, you should be more specific. Uh, Harley, the thing is, um, when am I going to reach 1000 subscribers on YouTube? So just general information, guys. Um, I started my YouTube channel like a long time ago and then I got some subscribers. You know how it goes when you start a YouTube channel, but then in December, or in January, I started my YouTube channel and right now we're at 582, I think. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I think actually, like, like, okay, no, I, I cannot, I cannot say anything. <laughs> I cannot say anything. But I think thinking like around July would be, yeah, would be cool. Um, so July 7th for Zot. Wait, you guys, wait. Uh, Ex Exalis. Exilis. Avis. July 1st. Harley. 22nd of August. Um, I reject my previous guess. I'm going to go uh, August 31st. August 31st. Okay, okay. Um, iPad kit re resurrected. All right, uh, Rainbow. See you later. Thank you so much. Um. I hope to see you soon. I, I, I missed a bunch of your streams and I, I bummed out about it. Um, sorry, 31st, August 31st. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so we have we have quite a few people now, which is nice. Okay, cool. So guys, I'm going to... Oh, Connor Jones UK on YouTube. Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much. Um, Connor Jones UK on YouTube says, first stream I've managed to catch, loving the content. Ah, oh, thanks so much, man. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, welcome. Welcome in. Uh, at these live streams, we usually do lots of painting. Uh, or lots of painting. We do lots of talking about the hobby, basically, and do a little bit of painting. <laughs> but welcome in. Thanks so much for uh, for the compliment on the content. I'm uh, doing the best I can. I keep missing you too, man. I'm burned about it. Uh, yeah, Rainbow. When so? When are you streaming again? Aren't you streaming tonight? Maybe painting. When? <laughs> Yeah, we Connor Jones. We 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 never paint. No, we do. We we have a whole painting thing going on here. <laughs> Four. Hey, we did a no. We we did more. We did more, you guys. Okay, so nobody. Everybody has their has their um, votes, right? I think I only missed Chris. Ooh, cool, Rainbow. 
If you do, then uh, I'll raid into you, my dear. Uh, and I'm going to... When, when are you going live, by the way? Do you, do you know? Hey Jones, this is probably the Jones from uh, from um, from the YouTube. Uh, I'm guessing. Hey, what's up, Roland? Long time no see. Long time no see. Uh, great that you're uh, that you're back for a while. Chris, what did you what did you? August 20th also. Uh, okay, but... Okay, so... Just to backtrack a little. Harley, you're going with 30th now. August 30th. Because you were 23rd, right? 22nd. Your guess was correct. Well, welcome, Jonesy. Yeah, it's a, it's a good decision to uh, head over to um, to Twitch. It's uh, it's 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 where the cool kids hang. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to dish you YouTube, but you know it's it's a lot more fun here. <laughs> just a quick hi, great uh, Roland. I was just talking about uh, Blood Bowl and how I finally got the starter set, so I'm going to be able to. Uh, just host some uh, games. <laughs> okay, so Rainbow is on for the 29th of August then, I guess. Twenty-ninth. <laughs> Roland must be thinking what the hell is going on here. Uh, Roland, we're doing a little guessing game on when uh, when I'm going to reach the 1,000 subs. I was thinking about it out loud, and I thought maybe I can do a giveaway about it, and that's what we're doing now. So I'm writing all the all the guesses down, and whoever wins gets something cool. If I win, you can still give away the stickers. Cool. Cool, Rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I win? I'm going to do a prediction as well. Um... But I'm going to have to look into my analytics first. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. Um, I think it's going... Oh, I don't know what it's going to be. 1,000, it's far off. Um, I think it's also... Okay, my guess is 18th of June. Ruland. God, we have a lot of... <laughs> Why am I doing this manually? Uh, 18th of June, okay. You can all manipulate this as well. This is this is very very smart what I'm doing right now. Uh, win if you win, I give tier three. all. that's that's cool. That's cool. Hydrate. Oh, good one, Chris. Uh, just give me a second. Um, Jojo. Oh wait. Okay, Jace. <laughs> This is this is this is some bookkeeping I'm doing here now. Twenty uh, fifth of July. Mm, that's a good one actually. What's up? Um, what's up, Jojo? What's up, Jojo? Jojo, we're doing a guessing game. You can also still um, you can also still come in if you want to. How do you say it? Participate if you want to. Are we exchanging birthdays? Also, kinda. We're doing we're doing both. <laughs> we can ma manipulate by disliking and unsubscribing. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, you may, you may. Um, no, but so people, please explain to Jojo what we're doing, and then I'm going to um, uh, get myself a drink because uh, I've, I've been talking a lot, and my mouth is dry as hell. Okay.
Okay, so Jojo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you should give it time at least. Jojo. Or we can split Jonesy, I think May 30th. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> Okay, so Jonesy seven five oh god seven five six seven May the thirtieth. Okay, that's 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 a bit close, I think, but you know we can uh, we can hope we can dream. Um, May the twenty fourth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you know it's going faster nowadays. Like the subs are going faster, but this this can this can all collapse uh, basically any time. I think. So JoJo goes for uh, May the twenty fourth. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Skr <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, let's cut the bullshit, guys. So going back to painting now. You got the splinter out. Nice. Wh how did you how did you get the splinter? I I think I missed the uh, the story. Uh, so apparently I should do lots of giveaways and people, uh, <laughs> there's lots of chatting and everything. Okay, so we're doing some painting. Still, let's get this stuff out of the way. Uh, we just did the sleeves on this guy. Uh, I don't find it easier to paint with gloves, um, but I usually use my hands as a as a canvas all the time. That's one reason, and second reason is I think my hands look disgusting. Some people um, have like a like a uh, how do you call it like a phobia. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's all right, Chris. Are you playing uh, Baldur's Gate? Oh, I always miss those as well. I always miss those. It's too bad. Also, I don't want to be spoiled, so maybe maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> I'll say hi to them. Okay, so um, I have a very cool gift in mind for uh, for anyone that has entered. And obviously, I will, I will, I will make sure that the video is out, like the the, the first stream after I hit one thousand. Um, 
That's going to be the, the maybe the reveal for the giveaway or something. Your welder. All right, cool. I always wanted to do that, but I never, never really did. No, it, it's it, it's also stickers. Uh, because Rainbow wanted to uh, to uh, give some, but it's also going to be something like a, like a model. I have some ideas <laughs> about it, but I have to check. Oh yeah, you will for sure get like a drawing. I can I can put in a drawing like a custom drawing thing, which I still had to do by the way. I still. You win is glow. You do not want that. You really do not want that. I mean, sure, there's people in the world that are freaky like that, but um, no. Ooh. Rainbow, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Uh, sorry, Raymo, I missed your message. When are you going online? Jojo, shh. <laughs> shh. I know, I know. I, um, I never did. Uh, maybe I'll make it, make it a monthly thing. Also, I don't know how many people are really waiting for my sketches. That's that's also a thing. That's that's why I why I don't do it. The idea was <laughs> you need to draw a body was it? Yeah. Yeah. That that would be cool. That would be very very cool. <laughs> so Will you be online for a while, uh, Rainbow? Because I'm not going to be online very, very long today, guys. I'm really sorry, but I have a very, very, very... Um, maybe we are demanding sketches. Oh, snap. I, uh, I can... This is actually the first time that I have my sketchbook right here. So, you know, I could, I could do it. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I have... I don't have a very long time today because I'm going up at 6 tomorrow. I have to um, drive to the southern part of the Netherlands very early. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop right now, but I'm going to... Uh, let's see, what time is it now? It's only been two hours. So let's say I'm going to stop in like an hour, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. And I will leave you all in the capable hands of Rainbow. <laughs> the mug, yeah. I still have to make the mug as well. You know what? I should really do some work on the stream anyways, because I have my old offline screen still, and I have this and that, and... <laughs> yeah I, Celestria I was thinking it would be cool to have like a mug with the bunny wizard um, something like the bunny wizard that has he has like like a big um, brush in his hand and then the text you shall not drink so like this basically you shall not drink wow and that's the, the, the painting pot, basically. You know? Maybe there will be a buddy wizard drawing. Mm, okay, Rainbow. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, my idea is to just... Um, 
to maybe go on and stream for a bit more like 45 minutes or something maybe maybe a little bit less even guys like for real i have to there's i still yeah this sounds really really lame but i have to iron my shirt i i have a job which requires me to go very very fancy fancy now uh to the to the office so i need to iron a shitload of of of, of shirts after this stream or i could just do one you know <laughs> but yeah i was thinking about not really merch because i don't wanna yeah <laughs> i just don't want to be one of those guys that that is like like with you know that comes out with merch when he has like uh, sub 1000 uh, people but I mean, if you guys want merch, if you, if you, if you if you want it, then I can provide. <laughs> Ironing stream incoming. Oh god. Oh wait, guys, I do want to. I, I talked about it last week, I think. Maybe only with Jojo. Um, but I, my girlfriend's cat is here now. My girlfriend's cat is here. So we picked her, or I picked her up. We picked her up, I picked her up, uh, from uh, Belgium because she was uh, a little bit alone. She was a bit of a loner. Um, and I, I just felt sorry for her. She, she lived here before, so she knows the place. And I obviously I work a lot from home, so I can give her attention. And I can, she's an old cat, you know, an old, she's an old, a little bit of a fat cat. Uh, but I love her, she's lovely. Um, I'm going to get Lucy, okay? Just give me a second. I don't know how, how pleased she will be, but uh, let's just show her off a little bit, okay? Just give me a sec. Lucy, come here. So say hello to Lucy. <laughs> so this is Lucy. She's a, she's a, she's a big cat, but she's lovely. <laughs> yeah, she's like a little baby. She, she's okay with most of the things as well. Like just holding her like this and. We can show her off a bit. Hello, Lucy. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> What's going on here, Lucy? What's going on? Yeah, she's a pretty cat. She's like uh, 12 or 13. She's very, very much overweight, but she's on a diet now. Um, yeah, and just overall very cuddly and uh, and lovely, lovely little cat, Lucy. Okay, done. <laughs> so yeah, that was Lucy, and she's not annoying at all. She's she's. She's really just chilling out all day, every day. Kitty. Come here, little kitty. So, yeah. Okay, so we got like lots of, lots of um, predictions now for the, I, I think this is a cool thing for the subscriber thing. And let's see, let's see what we have. So we have, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to check. I mean, it's going to happen soon, according to all of you. I'm not so sure if it's going to happen. I don't know, I don't know. 
if I like the last the last uh, the last like 10 days or something it was 80 80 people um, but the content is it is slowing down a bit yeah I think it will snowball it, it could snowball and I'm still getting like a decent amount of views from like the Star Wars Legion video. Um, I actually don't, I'm just going to check. I'm just going to check how it's going. I haven't checked my analytics for some time now. Very interesting for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to check. Uh, we got a new subscriber though. It's great. Um, analytics so let's see okay so we got 120 in the last 28 days 120 and that's less than in the last period but that's that that was to be expected because that video was was going very very well actually uh, so yeah, we will just see, we will just see. I'm going to think a little about my own prediction, but I think it is going to be like um, July. I think it's going to be July. But be careful what you wish for, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Rainbow, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I will raid into you uh, in a while. And um, yeah, uh, we're just going to hang out there then. Uh, gives me time to iron some of, the, uh, some of my shirts and um, to hang out at one of your streams, finally. It's been a while. No pressure at all. I know. Uh, Celestrian. Do you have an idea for this guy's face, color, skin tone? Oh, this is the, uh, the Arkan, uh, what's it called again? The spidery guy. The spidery guy, God. That sounded horrible. Okay, so we're going to use for the vests. We're going to use some Ewok Finger Brown, AKA Rage Brown from Instant Colors. Uh, this is going to be uh, the vests for all of these guys. I don't know where Lucy is now, but she'll be okay. Um, just finished assembling my Legion Clone Wars core. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Cool, Jonesy. Uh, very, very cool. I'm, um, I'm a bit jealous. Do you do you finish? Uh, are you painting both factions, or did you split it with uh, with a buddy? Uh, okay, so I'm going to do the vest now with, like I said, Ewok Finger Brown, Rage Brown from uh, Skill 75. Uh, I'm going to use another brush for that though. Uh, that's the way. This is the way, Jonesy. Spidery guy, spidery guy. <laughs> Um, that's that's the way to uh, to do it, Jonesy. That's that's absolutely uh, the way. That's w the same thing that I'm doing with Blood Bowl right now. I mean, I have some people that play it, but it would be even better if the, the like some of my best friends get into it. So I'm going to paint up the two teams that come in the starter set. I already have a team, so I can play with um, um, 
I have teams for both of them. So that will be really, really nice. Uh, and I was talking to Roland, who was in the chat earlier. Uh, I'd love to play a game with him as well. He has some teams, I think. A few. Uh, so one coat of this will kind of look like uh, like crap. Two coats will look nice. Um, Jonesy, are you familiar with the rules and everything? Of course, you you did watch the probably watch the video, right? Uh, how did you how did you get to my uh, to the channel? I'm always very curious to hear about that. a few tutorials read the manual and i've been watching most legion videos of yours wow <laughs> that's crazy i mean i it, it's cool that i can be uh, that i can be that uh, th that guy for you i guess um there's there's lots more uh, legion coming I'm actually on a on a bit of a crossroads if if I should do like like I don't want to do like only legion videos so that's that's it it would be wise if I want to get that like 1000 subscribers fast I just you know cover that legion niche basically um but there's just other things that I also enjoy so so yeah are you going to do the Mandos on stream? Uh, yeah, definitely one of the Mando boxes. I, I have two Mando boxes and one of them uh, is going to be on stream and the other ones are going to be used in a video probably. Uh, but yeah, you will see definitely see some uh, Mandos on stream as well, uh, Celestrian. For sure. I mean, it's really uh, I can I can use some of you guys uh, for advice as well, you know. Um. Well, thank yeah, thanks for the for the advice, uh, Jonesy. That that's what I just wanted to ask. Like, uh, what would what would you guys like to see? You know. Might print myself some mandos too. <laughs> Maybe a baba being eaten by a sarlacc. <laughs> that could work. Did you did you get some uh, good uh, models? Some good STLs. Hey, sweet dreams, uh, Exilis. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out and, and thanks for, um, yeah, just thanks for being here. And I hope to see you soon. I'll be online uh, this Wednesday again, if you want to check me out. Less predicting, more painting. Maybe, I cannot. <laughs> you never know at these streams. <laughs> Okay, so this still looks like crap, but uh, it's going to get better. Hey, Lucy, what's going on? Wow. Uh, it's going to get better once I get the washing in and everything. This this is always the most uh, 
This is the ugly stage of the process. <laughs> I don't care about specific game. I like positive personalities, I guess. So very content is better in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so there's there's a like I like I mentioned like the crossroads that I'm talking about is like creators like Miniac and um, uh, whew, Squidmar, you know those those kind of creators. You have those, but you also have like the specific Legion creators. Um, and I guess with like my my varying interest <laughs> levels towards the games, uh, it would be better to do a variety of wargaming and hobby and dioramas as well, because I, I'm going to make dioramas. I really want to make a diorama one day and I've never done that before. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to do the varied stuff. And if it's not, you know, if it's not immediately hitting uh, the viewer counts, it doesn't really matter. You know, it that that video for the Star Wars Legion that I did was was purely because I liked I like to make a video about it. You know, and I, if I want to make a video about Blood Bowl next, um, and it doesn't hit as well with the audience, it's fine. You know, the whole point of of starting uh, YouTube is for me to be able to do my own thing you know uh, like i talked about before normally i work for clients a lot and it's nice and all but it's not my own thing uh, i don't have final cuts on those mostly mostly and on this i will always have final cuts aradash nate thank you so much for following welcome uh, thank you so much. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy the content, um, my man. What would be cool for the content though is for me to uh, get the miniature uh, in the shot. Instead of uh, <laughs> outside of the shot. Sorry guys. Uh, do whatever you think is fun. If you go for what the community wants, then it is not your stream anymore. Besides, most people do not know what they want until they see it. That is very... Uh, that's very true. That mini is looking really good, but... Well, really? Honestly? <laughs> nah, it, it, it's, it's, in the, it's in the... It's in the ugly stage. In the ugly duggling stage. Uh, duckling stage right now. It will be better, I promise. I think it's time to do some, uh, I think it's almost ag Agrax time. Um, where's the girl in the overall? Yeah, there, there we go. We can do some Agraxing. We, we could Agrax up in here. Yeah, and the thing also is that I, I'm not I'm not really in a hurry, you know, for YouTube because yeah, call me crazy, but I'd really like to I'd love to do this full time, you know. And even if it doesn't, if it's not super profitable, it's okay with me. If I can pay my my bills with with only doing like streams on YouTube, sign me up for it. Like for real, I, I'd even work like a, a part time, like another, like really part time, like two days or something, one day job, if I could do this uh, for a living. Because the past four months I um, was in kind of like a, in a good position because my previous employer was still paying me. They, they still are paying me right now, <laughs> but I didn't have to do anything, right? Uh, so I could do whatever I wanted and that's why I made lots of content and set up the stream and all that kind of stuff um, And yeah, that was a good that was a good rhythm. I, I really enjoyed that a lot 
Um, but yeah, you, you cannot... Oh yeah, yeah, I, I would actually... <laughs> you know, if, if I see an opportunity... If I see an opportunity that I can really, you know... Um, that I'm heading towards being able to do this full time, which is a long ways away. Uh, I will definitely do everyday streams. Or at least like five days a week or something. Uh, so yeah. And depending on how some things will go um, in the near future, as far as my social things go, uh, I might do three streams a week. Just have to, you know, things things change in life. I do not have an Agrax jingle. I, sh I, I, I wrote it down though. Like all the ideas that are here, I wrote it down and I can actually make a jingle. You know, I talked about it before that I, that I also do some music production. It's, it's Agrax time. Um, another thing that I really want to do better in my streams is uh, make it a bit more interactive. Because I feel that's not... Uh, it's a bit interactive, but not, not enough. Everything looks better in Agrax. It's amazing what Agrax does. So let's talk about that jingle then. I have returned for a bit of sharing the love. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, we can do like an Agrax, Agrax song, you know. That's 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 a way to to go viral, right? Like like put it on TikTok or or Instagram or wherever, whatever, like an Agrax song. Ah, uh, I don't know. I just I just want to use it for whenever I use Agrax, and then you guys can redeem it from you know from the. From the community, what what's it called? The channel points. I'm just thinking about genre, like 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 what what kind of music should it be? It could be like metal, like Agrax time, you know. <laughs> My channel point. Oh god, did you save him up? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme inspired. Um, inspired, so not like the actual... Yeah, Jonesy, I know, I know. I should set up a Discord, but I, I really don't know. I really don't know a lot about Discord. Um, in fact, ooh, I have an epiphany. It's it's not a very smart epiphany, but I'm uh, I'm visiting a friend of mine tomorrow, uh, which I haven't seen in uh, maybe two months. I usually see him a, a lot more. He's very good at Discord and setting up Discord and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow. But uh, will you guys use it? I, I, I'm kind of afraid that you that I set it up and I don't know. I have so I have so many Discords and the only one that I'm a little bit uh, active on 
is very like like sometimes uh, Chris on yours, sometimes on Charlie's, uh, sometimes on Game Kings, a Dutch TV show thing, uh, and sometimes in Mini Marvels. I think it's a lot to like keep up with and uh, and everything, but maybe maybe that is a reason to have your own Discord. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I I can see. I 100% use it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I've been thinking about it, and I was thinking about like having a channel within the mini Marvel. You you don't know what mini Marvels is, uh, Jonesy, but to have a channel within that. But I don't know how how um, how usable that is going to be uh, to do it like that. So I will talk to the guy tomorrow. And maybe he can set up a Discord for me. I mean, can I just set up a Discord and be done with it? Because it, it feels like it's it's a lot of work to set it up. Or is it really just just you know setting it up and you're done? Be nice if Discord had a way that we could all link our Discord so it's not as chaotic. Yes, yes. But you might, uh, might need someone to moderate it. Yes, uh, that's also that's also a thing. I, I like uh, also with the streams. I see lots of people that have moderators in their streams, and for me, it's okay if, if someone is moderating. But aren't aren't you like asking a lot of someone if they if you ask them to moderate? Isn't it like a lot of work? Uh, a go live notification. Ah, okay, so that's what I've been seeing. Yeah, sorry, I've just been like posting my link, like here, I'm online now. <laughs> uh, would you be able to... Um... Okay. Um, current size, common sense could prevail, should prevail. Um, then some trusted people to enforce the rules. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, like I like like if if uh, like would one of you guys wanna like moderate or something? Again, I don't know how much I you ask of a person to 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 moderate also like what are twitch vips and stuff i i uh, there's all kinds of stuff that i'm not familiar with Stream bots can do a lot of mod work. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I do have a stream bot. Um, I will just look into it. I need to watch some content about like uh, mod, um, about Discord because I'm really, really interested in, in having my own channel uh, on Discord. I just don't know a lot about it and maybe I should just set it up and, and see what happens but I'd love to be able to uh, post a bit more to my own community than just like an Instagram post or like um, like a poll that I do on YouTube now um, like have the community all centered in one point that would be uh, that would be cool 
and list ideas. Yeah, I can, I can see it work. Like for Star Wars Legion as well. Uh, in the stream, I sometimes I, I, I just drop my list and I go, go over them. And sometimes I see people... Yeah, people don't really care for that, but there might be people from the community, especially from YouTube, that would be interested in like sharing lists and, and painting work in progress and uh, yeah. Interact uh, if you want more interactivity, a Discord is a good way to start. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, and I would also see that, of course. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I think it's a good idea for me to, uh, to look at it, uh, like, this weekend. Because I'm... I'm off on Wednesdays, but this Wednesday is, like, like full-time video day for YouTube. <laughs> Because otherwise I'm not going to uh, be able to, to make a video for this Friday. Um, but this weekend I will look, or in an evening, I will look into Discord. And I will talk about the guy tomorrow. I will talk with the guy tomorrow about Discord. Gosh, gosh. Um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a good idea. He, he says at least that he's really... I know that if I if I come by his place, he has like this huge ass TV that he does like he does uh, Counter Strike a lot, uh, and he's in like a million discords, and then I see him typing all the time, doing crazy stuff. Uh, and I asked him one time, like, if you could you maybe set up a Discord? And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure, but now, yeah. Okay, thinking thinking out loud again, guys. I'm sorry, but um, it would be very very handy because it's. It's a bit easier for me to to uh, communicate everything all at once. I'm kind of using other people's discords now. Uh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, and Celestrian, um, you talked about that uh, car tray a bit. But what I think that should happen is to... I mean, with like kind of like a joint effort thing. We maybe, maybe we can get it in the in the mini marvels uh, shop somehow and, and do something cool uh, with it yeah I just don't know what yet. I, I don't know how that would work. Uh, since you made them. Um, I can I can market them obviously in videos and stuff. Uh, and Mini Marvels could sell them, for example. Fifteen. 
15 for Fifteen apiece. Ah, okay. Um. Yeah, fifteen is is quite quite steep. But I ca I can imagine. I can imagine why it's. Uh, why it's like that. Because you're going to need like like a normal Legion game, you're going to need like ten of them, I think. Maybe you can make like a package deal or something. Uh they take around eight hours to print. Ah okay, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's too bad. I could still do it, you know, but... It's just it's just basically time that he cannot spend on uh, on other things. You mean, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm also really not this this may sound uh, dishonest I guess but it, I'm not really in it for like making making money or something but I just I just think they are um, they're they're quite expensive and I thought that would be a way like uh, there was a way that uh, to reduce that and to make them to make them um, and more read readily available to people. <laughs> Five hundred gnomes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, ca I can see, uh, I can see the, <laughs> I can see the point now. Okay. Let's first uh, get, uh, I'm just going to get myself some mugs soon. <laughs> I think that would actually be a, be a great idea to do the, to do the mugs. It'd be really cool. I saw it on uh, another uh, streamer's channel, by the way. And then he talked about it a little bit. I asked some questions about it. Where did you get those? And he said, oh, you can just set up a, a Twitch shop and then you can just sell the design, you know? So basically you just upload the design and you have a mug. Well, that, that's, that's amazing. That's exactly what I want to do because I don't want the hassle of shipping and all that kind of stuff. So I'm definitely going to do that, even though if it is only for fun, uh, because I, I, I don't expect a lot of people buying it, but the idea for it is is pretty pretty cool. And uh, since I'm like a branding, I'm a brand specialist. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love these kinds of things. Okay, cool. So we're doing some heavy highlighting right now. Uh, they're going to be shaded down obviously uh, but i'm going to close up shop soon as well because like i said i have uh, i have some shirts to iron uh, 
Um, but I am going to leave you in the very capable hands of the Rainbow Wrangler. A lovely, lovely lady uh, who I have known for a couple of months now, actually. She's always very cool and she does some very cool painting. Uh, but all kinds of all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish up these highlights and then we're going to call it a day. Um, but I'll be back on Wednesday. That's for sure. Maybe even tomorrow, but it kind of depends. Uh, like I said, I want to do... Uh, if I can, I, 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 I want to do more streams. Because I think they're lovely. And I love hanging out with all of you. Every stream is different. And that's it's, it's nice. Uh, while I'm experimenting with the tray, we could offer the files to the community. Then the people with the printer can make use of it already. Yeah, sure, sure. But how how would you how would you want to set that up? Like, uh, for example, in a Discord or uh, it's been a very enjoyable stream. Great personality and great community. Thanks a lot, uh, Jonesy. Thank you so much. Thanks for your kind kind words and 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 all that. Uh, all that stuff. It was really nice to hear that um, I, I'm part of the start of your Star Wars Legion uh, career, basically. Um, yeah, that's that's great to hear because I I know the people on YouTube that inspired me to do it. You know, so I'm, I'm like honestly, that's it's really really cool to be able to do the same thing for someone else, for real. Um, yeah, that, that depends on, uh, that depends on, uh, on you, Celestian. I mean, you made the designs, right? For me, I, I'm good. I don't have to make money off it like that way. Maybe like physical ones in the future. That, that would maybe, you know. Yeah, and Jonesy, um, like I said, like I'll be back on Wednesday. I hope you can join again. Uh, we might do some Mandal. I think we can do some Mandalorians on Wednesday, and then these guys uh, kind of have to wait their turn again. <laughs> so yeah. And. Um, also, like I said before, Jonesy, if you uh, want to stick around when we raid into uh, Rainbow Wrangler. Uh, Rainbow is a very, very awesome girl. Um, does very, very cool stuff. Very, very creative. And it's always a nice hangout. She's a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah. It's, uh, it's up to you. But um, we're definitely going to... Yeah, so Jonesy, I don't have a Discord yet, <laughs> uh, but I'll make uh, I'll make uh, sure that uh, that gets settled uh, soon because I've I, there was there's too many people asking for it as well, you know. Uh, if it's it's what um, yeah, it's what a lot of people want as well, so. That's a good uh, incentive. Well, I'm not happy with this, guys. I'm sorry, but it's uh, blah, blah. It looks a bit crap. Uh, probably have to do some more shading on it, and then it will look a bit better. Uh, Jonesy, by the way, I don't know if you're still here, uh, but you might not have seen this one yet. This is the land speeder that I've been working on for the <clears throat> past couple of weeks. Uh, it's a bit more exciting than the the troopers that I uh, that I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm just taking these guys off so I can show it to you properly. 
Uh, these are, this is a gunner and a rocket. Uh, yeah, it's freehand, actually. Uh, you can see it's freehand, it's not perfect. Um, and I did some very, very heavy weathering on the on the windshield. I thought it was too much, but it, I, I don't think it's too much. It's actually quite nice. Uh, and this is all freehand, and it's it's funny because I obviously I saw the box art and I know how it's supposed to look, but I did this from just what I what I liked basically. So this this part and this part and this part and this I didn't know how what it looked like, <laughs> but when I was done, it it kind of looked like the same as Luke Skywalker's um, uh, thing. Probably because I'd seen it a lot and, uh, and stuff. Um, yeah, and, and Jonesy, I don't know if you have any bigger vehicles or if you're going to get any bigger vehicles, but I really recommend you magnetize your stuff. So yeah, as you can see, I have uh, the rotary blaster here. I think it's a rotary blaster. Um, and then I also have another weapon. And yeah, they're magnetized and that is um, that is very nice to have in a game such as Legion with um, with different upgrades and you know. But yeah, I love that part about it. It was my very first successful magnetizing job on any model. I did it before, but it didn't work out very well. Uh, so yeah. This is probably one of my favorite <coughs> my favorite models now. So yeah, and uh, yeah, this is a little Rodian. He's a funny looking dude. I'm happy with him. His colors are a very nice contrast uh, on the land speeder as well. So uh, so yeah. I magnetize everything that has options. Yeah, that's a very good one. I, I, I tried it on my Dune Crawler, but I think I messed it up a bit because I didn't know that you cannot use plastic cement glue for magnets. So it, it, it was a mess. It was a bloodbath. <laughs> I think it worked out now though. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Um, if we, if the rainbow is ready for us. Oh, she's really ready for us. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my knit carnifex is like 30 magnets in it. What? <laughs> That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Uh, Uh, sorry guys, I'm just setting up the raid. It always takes me ages to set it up. Because I always I'm always like, is it with an with a dash or but I think we're here now. Uh yes we sure are. Okay, so guys, um uh, thanks so much. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Um, I think we had a lot of fun with um, uh, with setting setting the date for when I'm going to hit 1,000. 
I think there someone is going to to have guessed it right. I I think so. I think so. Yeah, make a note that with you. I know, Celestrian. I know. I know. I don't have a lot of screens, man. I don't have a lot of screens. Um. So yeah, but but thanks anyways. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for being here, Celestrian. Uh, I am going to iron the shit out of my shirts. Um, enjoy spending time with Rainbow. Like I said, like just give her a follow as well. She's she's awesome. Uh, Jonesy, thanks so much for being here for the first time. You are a boss, man. Um, thanks for being so kind, and thanks for letting me know that the content is uh, is reaching the people that I want. <laughs> thanks a lot for that. Um, let's go to Rainbow. Let's all give her a follow. We. We're 13 people, so let's bump up her follower count. And um, yeah, let's have some fun at Rainbow Stream. I'm going to be there for a while. See you guys later. Love ya. Bye-bye.